featuring the biggest names and the best stories in sports. The following is a presentation of E60. Sports Matter. Chesapeake, Virginia, 200 miles south of Washington, D.C., where D'Angelo Hall grew up, the youngest of six. He was a baby and real sweet. Loved to run. He would run so fast. Uh, he would almost fall down. He would run so fast. When D'Angelo was only two months old, his father walked out on the family, leaving D'Angelo's mother, Joan, a school teacher, to support them. We lived in a three-bedroom, pretty modest house. It wasn't the hood, but it wasn't the best area either. Young D'Angelo spent most of his time indoors playing video games until his brother Kevin, 15 years older, got him off the couch. I was this little scrawny kid, thick glasses. Probably wasn't the best athlete growing up, and I always called myself his project. In these streets is where I hone my skills, at, uh, <laughs> a little bit of everything, running, basketball, football, uh, you name it. Is this where uh, you would play and hang out with your brother Kevin? Oh, yeah. We did a lot of tumbling right here in this front yard right here, so we had a blast. You know, a lot of people had, you know, Michael Jordan and, you know, all these other guys, and I just wanted to be like my older brother. February 1st, 1994. 10-year-old D'Angelo is asleep in bed when he's awoken by the sound of a doorbell. It was the police. My mom went to the door and, you know, I don't really know what was said, but we just heard her just bust out crying. Kevin, um, he was with some of his friends and he was walking down the street and someone shot him. According to reports, D'Angelo's brother was walking on this street late at night and had a blood alcohol level two times the legal limit and was carrying a gun. He was shot six times by the gunman and was pronounced dead at the scene. He was 25. The accused gunman was later acquitted after a judge ruled the shooting to be self-defense. From what we found out was just walking down the street um, in a bad, bad neighborhood. And um, I guess someone thought he was somebody else and some guy pulled the gun out and, and, and shot him. For a while, I, you know, I just sat in my room thinking, you know, he's gonna walk in the door. You know, he's gonna walk in the door. Oh, I'm gonna see him tomorrow. I'm gonna see him next week. How do you think Kevin's death impacted D'Angelo? I, I think it's, it changed him forever. You know, D'Angelo is not a person that verbally put his pain out there. He found another way to express himself when he entered high school. It's the first field I ever played on. You know, we joke all the time in the league about everybody's like, oh, let me see a highlight tape. I'm like, man, you can just pull out a game of mine in high school and it feels like a highlight tape. D'Angelo Hall trying to get around the far side, puts his head down to the five. Does he get in? Touchdown, D'Angelo Hall. That's Mickey, a run with attitude. His senior year, D'Angelo rushed for more than 1,300 yards, scored 30 touchdowns, and intercepted nine passes. He was named first team all state at both defensive back and kick returner. Was he always a talker? Oh yeah, out there on that field, yeah. And never was that more evident than when a Virginia Tech recruiter was in town. And I know they opened the kickoff, he said this was for you, and he, they kicked off and he ran it all the way back for a touchdown. I know it opened his eyes. He called the shot? Yes. <laughs> for a college recruiter? Yes. Go back through that tunnel. Let's go. September 1st, 2001. D'Angelo is in the starting lineup as a true freshman at Virginia Tech. Downfield, is it picked up? It is. The freshman Hall makes the interception. Soon, he was trying to get someone else to notice him. I was a cheerleader, so I would be coming to practice. He'd be leaving. 
he would always try to talk to me, leave notes on my car. It's really sweet, but I kind of just laughed it off, never paid it much mind. Yeah, I would put little notes on her car and always mess with like some of her friends to tell her I said what's up. We just hit it off and we were together pretty much every day. And always on college football Saturdays. In 2003, as a junior, Paul was a star at wide receiver, kick returner, and cornerback. But talk turned from interceptions to perceptions as he entered the 2004 NFL Draft. 